yeah, we're over here on the OSM and application on Android, and I have the Wikipedia layer loaded here. So a few weeks ago when I made the video showing the, this mapping application and the hillshade layer and, and also showed the Wikipedia layer with the points of interest, I really wasn't paying attention when I hit this one here, this 1838 San Andreas earthquake. This line here said near Canyon Drive, Portola Valley. So that threw me off a little bit because I thought I might have hit a waypoint that was a ways away from here because Portola Valley is about 10 miles northwest of here, basically still on the San Andreas Fault. I read that and thought, oh, that's Portola Valley. That's 10 miles away. I went back and actually checked the Wikipedia page, and there is a Wikipedia page exactly like this. So this Wikipedia layer does indeed download all of these features, and you can see you can read the full article online. Of course, I'm offline. I don't have any signal here. This earthquake, I, I hadn't even heard of it. It says here magnitude 6.8 to 7.2, so it was one of the larger earthquakes in this area, 1838, that was about 184 years ago. It used to be about a two-year window, they, they had like 1836 to 1838, but they've narrowed it down to sometime in June. The problem was in 1838, this area here was not very well settled. The missions had just started splitting up, and, and the, the uh, immigrants from the East Coast didn't start showing up until the mid-1940s. I think it was 1846 that the Stevens Party came from Missouri over the Great Salt Lake. Basically, they were the ones that pioneered the route that two years later the Donner Party tried to follow. They had no problem at all. They got over here, everybody survived. In fact, they had, I think, two or three babies were born on the way, so they, they ended up with like three more people than they started with in the wagon train. But anyway, Elijah Stevens that led that wagon party is the one that Stevens Creek is named after, ultimately. After reading the article, that point of interest right there is the estimated epicenter of that earthquake, and that's where I am, the blue dot. It's maybe half a mile up there, a little less than a kilometer to that point from where I am. I'll show you on video where I'm standing at here. I'm right at the point where this uh, water wheel creek trims down. So the creek is running right by me here. And if you go just a ways up the canyon trail, you can see the canyon trail on the north side of the creek. Pretty much straight north of that a point there, or point of interest, I think it was about eight years ago, there was a big I don't know if it was a university dig or some geologic dig there. It drove a backhoe down from the pavement and someplace around in that area there, they dug a deep trench across the fault to study paleo seismic activity. And I think part of that was related to this 1838 earthquake because the Wikipedia article says that in the last decade, there were some new studies done to dial in this earthquake a little better because it was very poorly understood previously. That's neat, it ties all those things together because I remember seeing that uh, excavation, they had the, the area you know, taped off with caution tape for about a month and they had this huge, probably 15 foot deep trench dug across the line of the fault and I guess they were you know, making samples and dating things and you know, measuring layers and offsets and whatnot, because this 1838 earthquake, they say it ruptured about 50 miles or 80 kilometers of the San Andreas Fault centered on that point. 
up in Portola Valley and just north of that Woodside, they measured five foot or 1.6 meter offset motion from that fault. The Pacific Plate moved five feet north. The rupture was 25 miles each direction. Woodside is about half of that, 12 miles or so north of here. And they measured five feet of offset there might have been much more offset down here being the epicenter that's how they estimated the epicenter was based on centering in on the offsets and the shaking that was observed and reported and damage and whatnot they tried to zero in so let me switch over to the video camera and i'll show you where i am here okay so yeah this is where what i'm calling water wheel creek comes down this is running northwest roughly along probably what's a branch of the San Andreas Fault. And here was this big rock outcrop that I shot the video from down below with the big tree growing on top. And then that's where the little waterfall is down below there. So the 1838 earthquake epicenter is about a half a mile that direction and the canyon trail is up there and that excavation that they did about eight years ago was up that way maybe a mile maybe a mile and a quarter two kilometers up there this is where the fault is in fact i think one branch of the fault is right here about a month ago i shot the video down below here looking over that ledge right there this whole area here is just shoved that way, there's just a wall of rock that's been pushed out. This is the Pacific Plate right here, and this is moving that way. And then if you go over there, that's the North American Plate, and it sits there. And this stuff here is moving roughly in that direction. And every big earthquake, it moves four or five, six feet, something like that. And I think this chunk here in the middle has just got kind of broken off and dragged along here. But yeah, it really shows you the power of that Wikipedia layer. I've been coming up here over 10 years, and I never knew about that epicenter. of. I didn't even know there was an 1838 earthquake. I'd heard of the 1857 earthquake down uh, farther south. And then 1906 earthquake also affected this area. So within about 70 year period, there were two big earthquakes that hit this, this particular area here. So yeah, very seismic area. Yeah, I would have never known about that except seeing that point of interest on the map. And then I just happened to click on it. And then I thought, I hadn't heard about that, so I went home and spent some time reading the article and looking through some of the references and links, and it's like, oh, that was right here. That probably altered this area right here 184 years ago, so that was probably a pretty wild time right in here. There were probably landslides. Could you imagine that whole chunk of rock moving five feet in a minute? To be able to see that would have been just amazing. Probably wouldn't have been able to stand up down here. This is the fault right here, or at least one branch of it. There's, you know, many branches of the fault in this area. This was the epicenter of the 1838 earthquake. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that, kind of follow up on that uh, Wikipedia layer. And it was a, right here, 184 years ago in June, this whole area was moving. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that uh, follow-on video. And as always, thanks for watching.